I'm Yuri. I work in management. This is a story from a few years ago. I was dating Katsura-kun at the time, and we worked out our days off together to go on a hot spring trip. Welcome. I'll see you later. Once I'm out of the bath, I'll head to the rest area. So take your time. Okay. Ah, this is paradise. It feels like my troubles are melting away. Did you hear? There's a famous spot around here where it shows up. What shows up? Mary Treasure? No, that comes out. Something that still hasn't passed on from this world. Uh, huh? Uh, sorry, I overheard. It's fine. The story's more exciting if others are around to hear. Come over and listen. Uh, 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 okay. Dang it, I'm really not good with ghost stories. I saw this story on the internet. When you come here, there's a tunnel you have to go through, right? Yeah, it's in the middle of the woods. Yep, that one. There was a couple driving through that tunnel. That place is already kind of dark to begin with. And on top of that, it was the middle of the night, so it was hard for them to see. And at the mouth of the exit... There was a girl that suddenly appeared in front of them, and they couldn't hit the brakes fast enough. Full of fear, they turned around, and what they saw... <gasps> no one's there! I didn't hit anyone! But... But something definitely went... Oh! What's that?! Something's on the roof?! No one knows of that couple's whereabouts. The only thing that was left behind was their car. What? That's it? Yeah? Something is up with that story. And if they disappeared, who's around to know what they did? Uh, I, I'm getting out, so please excuse me. Oh, really? That's too bad. Take care. And yes, Yasuria, don't you hate ghosts in the occult? Well, I'm not particularly interested in it. Then why did you tell that story? Because that girl was cute. And her boyfriend's pretty cute too, so I just wanted to tease her a bit. You sure have a lovely personality as usual. Katsura kun! <laughs> I see she told you a ghost story. Ghosts do love secluded places. But just like the other girl said, there's a contradiction to that story. Yeah, that's true, but... Thanks for waiting. Here's our real gun specialty. Grilled Molochs. They were caught this morning. Amazing! Freshly caught! It's a good thing we came here. Yeah! I completely forgot about the ghost story after we started eating delicious <laughs> food. After fully enjoying our trip, we headed back home at midnight. That was fun! Yeah, let's come back another time. Whenever we get married, we can come back for our honeymoon. <laughs> Sounds good! Uh, <gasps> this tunnel! It's fine. That was just a made-up story. Yeah. But even if something does happen, I'm here with you. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. Katsura-kun, I relied on my boyfriend's word, and I somehow stayed calm. It's not scary! It's not scary! We were finally almost out of the dim tunnel! Then something appeared. <gasps> what?! Are you sure this was the spot? Yeah, it was definitely near the tunnel exit. And I saw a man <laughs> hiding in the bushes on the left. <laughs> and the person we hit. I've got a feeling it was just a doll. I got a weird feeling when I saw the man and the doll, so we got away as soon as we could. That was a wise move. Actually, there was a couple that went missing in this very spot. 
all that was left was their car. <laughs> their valuables were also missing, so there was an investigation started for a possible crime. And if I add your story to this, someone is throwing the doll in the road to stage an accident, and they're robbing people after they get out of their car. And since the victims have gone missing, I fear it may be robbery and murder. <gasps> Could you tell us what the man looked like? Anything you can remember is good for us. Yes. The ghost story wasn't made up. However, it wasn't a ghost that appeared, but a living person with bad intentions. Gods, Raccoon, I'm sorry. Hmm? I didn't sense anyone staring at us, and I thought you were just trying to run away. If you weren't here, I... It's fine. I told you, didn't I? I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. So our long vacation was finished, and by the time we got home, the sun was coming up. The next day... Do you hear that? It's him! It's him! Get to the gun! Bad enough! Bad enough! Careful! Don't miss the gun over here! He's not taking enough damage! Gotcha! We're the police! I'm telling you this right now! I'm not, I'm not being taken out alive! <laughs> oh my god, the thing for it is police brutality! <laughs> This is Karin. We've got the suspect. And about the doll he used. God's raccoon. This news. Last night, in Nara Prefecture, Sony Kogan, an obese middle aged serial killer, was apprehended on the mountain roads. The suspect used his victim's body to perform his next crime. <gasps> no way. So the doll we hit was. A chill ran down my spine. Even in death, the perpetrator treated her poorly. And. If I would've made one wrong move, I would be... <sighs> Next time we go there, I'm going to pray for her. Even though she was used as a trap, I still hit her. I have to properly apologize. And when I felt that man staring at us, I had a gut feeling. Basically, I felt something was off. That probably was the girl and the ones before her warning me. So that's why, Yuri. I understand. I'm going too. I need to properly thank her as well. Years later, with all the evidence present, the For an obese middle -aged criminal was sentenced to the death penalty. His first crime, he would leap out into the street and have drivers hit them, then proceed to attack them. After that, he used decoys in his other two cases. It was indiscreet for this case to be called a ghost story, but that's how it's spread online. Alright, that is your wish. I shall make it. Oh. And what most people say... Hey, did you hear? And help him! I think put in jail a few years back has gone crazy. He's pretending to be crazy again? But he keeps saying stay away, and there's a rumor going around that he hits the wall in his sleep. The heck is up with that? I don't know. But they say he was on the brink of death with injuries like he was in a car accident. Seriously? God's raccoon. Hmm? I wonder if... Those girls went on a hot spring trip and ate Moloch's too. I wonder. I've never met them nor talked to them, but I can't think of them as mere strangers after this incident. Because I, we, will just try to live our lives to the fullest and happiest future that those girls could have had. It's a bit of a waste of the parking lot. You okay? I'm fine. You worry too much, Katsurkun. <laughs>